it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for uh, June, so June of 2020. This is not old energy. Okay, this is what's coming in. This is a preview. This is not something that is in the past. This is what's coming in. So this is for Sagittarius for the month of June 2020. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A lot of people want to um, they hear a reading and they think, oh, that's something that has passed. That's, that's what you want to think, right? If you don't learn from your mistakes, what happens? You repeat them. So let's just see what's going to come up for Sagittarius for the month of June. This is not past energy. What's coming in for June for Sagittarius? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. In June, you are probably going to need some help from your friends. You may need to ask for it. It may not be easy for you to ask for it, but you may need to ask for it, okay? Ask for and accept support from others in June. This is for June. Somebody may fall over. You know, everything that happens during a reading is for you. You know, when you fall down, sometimes you need help getting back up. So what do we what do we have for Sagittarius for June? What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, we got a few. We're gonna take them. We are gonna take those. Beetle, good fortune. Man, dealings or relationship with a man, okay? Now, even if you are a man watching this, there is a prominent male in your life that is affecting you, affecting you in some way, whether it's a brother or it's a father or a stepfather or a boss or a friend. There's a prominent man in your life. If you are a feminine, this could be your, your husband or a boyfriend or your father or whoever. This is There's definitely somebody that is very prominent that's affecting your uh, month in a big way. This man is affecting your month. Ant, work, achievement, success. So you will be achieving success, but you don't achieve success unless you work. What does an ant do? Aren't they called worker ants? Work, 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 work. So you're going to be working by the looks of things. we got a working man. <laughs> we got a working man here. I mean, this could be you for some of you. Bag. Ooh, something important such as a new job or a raise. That could be a money bag. Okay, it looks like you could, you could be getting some money by the looks of things. I mean, it looks really, really, really good. It does. Okay? It does. It looks good. But I think you're going to be working. And maybe you're going to get either some sort of achievement here for the hard work that you are doing. So you're going to be receiving something for all the hard work that you are doing. Congratulations. Congratulations. So what do we have for Sagittarius for the month of June? Now, aren't you glad this isn't in the past and that this is coming? We get people all the time under the reading say, oh, this already happened. It's because they don't want to accept that it could happen again or whatever. Whatever. Okay? This is coming. Okay, this is something that is coming. Aren't you glad? So what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh! Well, King of Pentacles. This is somebody who has money. Stability, security, hard, hard, hard worker here. This is somebody that, if you are the feminine, this may be somebody that's coming into your life, okay? This is this is somebody who is stable, solid, secure. If you are the masculine, this is your energy. You are very stable. You're a hard worker. You are, uh, you're going to have plenty to hold on to, put it that way. For some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That has money. It could be a male or a female, but this person has money. They have money. They're very secure. They're, this is somebody who is very business oriented, um, very practical, 
hard, hard, hard working. There's a payoff here. You're going to, you are, this is like, uh, you're going to be getting a golden opportunity. It looks like something, something wonderful here. This is, this is long-term stability. This is something stable. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are coming into some freaking money. This, and this is a power couple. This is a power couple. This is like financially stable. This is partnering up with somebody that has money. This is unbelievable. Okay. This is unbelievable. I can't even get over it. Wow. Wow. So this is, these are two peas in a pod. This is a perfect combination. It really, both of these people work like dogs, okay? Very nurturing couple here. Um, very grounded, very stable, very secure. Uh, work very, 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 have the good, same um, ideals, right? These people have the same ideals, the same um, outlook on life. It's all about working, saving that money, um, building up a foundation. It looks like romance is in the air as well because of these roses. Both of these people are holding on, though. They're holding on to their security, holding on to their money, uh, not wasting money. Uh, can build a very solid foundation together. It's definitely a fertile time as well. Um, I can't even get over it. I'm speechless. And you may be speechless as well. This is, this is, this is like a match made in heaven right here. It really, really is. These people, um, it's almost like the lovers. Okay. It's almost like the lovers card. This is somebody that you have shared values with that you, you know, this is like falling in love with a soulmate. I'm telling you what, whatever this is, it's a perfect freaking match. It is perfect, perfect, perfect. It doesn't get any better than that. And that, I mean, it very, very uh, this is a golden opportunity. It's a golden opportunity to build something very, very solid and stable. And this may be, it starts out with help. It's like you guys may be helping each other. You're helping each other in some way. This is kind of scary. Oh my freaking God. It does get better. It does. The Ten of Cups, that's, I can't, I don't even, it's like happily ever after. This is happily, this is a happy relationship. For some of you, there could be a child. Some. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't plan on having any children. But anyhow, this is a, a relationship where there could, somebody could get pregnant. Because I saw the fertility. So if you're of childbearing age and you're wanting to get married and settle down and have a kid and you're single, well, it absolutely could be the time for that. It could be. Um... This could also be inheriting a child. No, you know, if, if somebody has a child because it's a child. Either way, either way, we have, this is happily ever after. We have two people working together, building a family, building a home, building a relationship. Um, it's, 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 this is like a mother and a father and a child, you know, whatever. Um death we have an ending though if this endings lead to new beginnings this is a transformation this is a profound change death is a profound change it's a transition it's an ending that leads to a new beginning so you have a new beginning here you do have a new beginning now the three of swords reverse is letting the past go leaving the past behind this is a card of forgiveness focusing on the future um Letting go of some pain that you've been holding on to. Healing. Healing from some pain. Healing from an ending. This is a healing love. This is a healing love. Something has ended. Perhaps this is the reason something like that. That a relationship didn't work out. Because this is a, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. This is on the path to recovery. Releasing pain and healing from an ending. Something is coming into your life that is, uh, it's like you manifested it, okay? Pentacles are manifestation. It's like you two manifested each other. 
but it comes after a death. Okay, it comes after an ending. That was painful. This was a painful ending, but it's bringing two people together. So we have a death that is bringing two people together. Ah, three of cups reversed. There's been, um, there's been, there's, there's been a termination. There's been a termination. There's parting ways. Somebody has parted ways from, uh, somebody that didn't make them happy. There was no chance of reunion. There was no happiness. There was nothing to celebrate. There was no joy. The three of cups reversed is, um, highly competitive somebody may have been in a third party situation but they are it's over if there was a third party situation that is over uh page of swords there's enemy this is an enemy this is an enemy somebody was dealing with an enemy somebody that uh was a liar somebody that was a cheat somebody was dealing with a cheat but that is over it's over i feel like uh you may be caught off guard you're caught off guard by this new beginning. You are. You're, car you're caught off guard. You're caught off guard by this connection. You weren't expecting it. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now, that's lack of commitment. That's lack of common sense. That is, doesn't want responsibility. So, not interested. So, somebody's not interested in a relationship. Not interested in cheating, not interested in lying. So you were probably, somebody has been dealing with somebody who bailed out. Somebody bailed out, they didn't follow through. Um, they weren't looking for a commitment, they weren't planning on committing. Just want to be alone. I don't I don't want anybody, I just want to be alone. I choose to be alone. I'd, I'd rather be alone and rather just... Um, play games or party or whatever. So somebody was choosing to be alone. Maybe they are still choosing to be alone. The high, unaware, something is about to re be revealed. There, there's a lack of awareness here. Not aware that um, there's about to be a change. There's somebody is definitely not aware that something is, that this is an opportunity for happiness. Not aware that this could lead to a relationship. I don't even want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this right here. I don't want, there's, I don't want to talk about this. Um, now there's thinking going on. There's thinking, there's contemplation, there's, um, now that's the death of an idea or a situation. Meditating, thinking about it. Maybe being upset. I just want to be alone. Somebody just wants to be alone. Now they need to think about what has been presented to them. There, there could be a level of being upset. Somebody could be upset. They weren't looking for any kind of responsibility. Uh, but something suddenly happens. This is a very sudden energy. This is... Uh, something coming very, very fast. Something happening very, very fast. All of a sudden, uh, things change. Somebody rushes very quickly. It's like all of a sudden, r right away, this person is here. This is rushing. Charges into your life. This person charges into your life. You weren't, you didn't even see it coming. Something is happening that you did not even see coming. It's, in, it's like... It's like, I don't think either of these people were looking for a commitment. Not looking for an, any kind of commitment. Um, and this is why now. Why is this happening now? This isn't what I asked for. Okay, I wasn't wishing for this. This is why. Why, why, why is this happening now? This is something rushing into your life. But why is it happening? Causing somebody a need to think. I got to think about this. I need to think about this. Um... Four of Cups, but interested, very interested. This is the end of a stagnant period. Somebody has been moping and crying over a loss, dealing with a dead end situation, somebody that cheated on them, somebody that hurt them. Now it's like there's a new opportunity that has been presented and I, and it looks really good. There's a lot of compatibility here. I think I want it, but why now? Why now? I'm not ready for it. It's like this person, it's like I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready. It's, I just want to be alone. This person is like, I just want to be alone. Oh, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for this happily ever after. But here it is, right in front of your face. So Sagittarius, you got some kind of love that is showing up. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect match. Looks like it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn to me. It doesn't happen to, it doesn't have to be, but it really looks like it is. 
If it's not, it's somebody that is a very hard worker. This person has the same values as you. They're stable. They're solid. They're secure. You have a lot in common, more than you probably uh, would suspect. You being a fire sign and them being an earth sign or them being of an earthly nature, you probably, this will, this will be quite a shock. This is a shock. It's definitely a shock. I think it will be. You perhaps somebody in this scenario, whether it's you or the other person is not expecting this or both of you are. It's, it's like you're not expecting this connection because this is a why. Why is this happening? Why? 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 I wasn't asking for this, and but here it is. So this is a profound transformation, transition, life change. You are going to be caught off guard. This is an opportunity to heal from that situation that left you discontent, that left you sad. Okay? This is a healing opportunity. This person can help you to heal. Um, geez, I'm crow. This is, and this, this person may start out as a friend. They may start out as a friend and something develops. I don't even know. I don't even know what this is, but um, this is crazy. It is. It is definitely crazy. This is the night. This is definitely crazy. Um, yeah. So uh, that's what I got. Good luck.